All right, guys, so I just want to do a quick little update. I mentioned in the last cricket hatching video that my spiders were close to molting. And sure enough, you can't make it out, but there's a molt right there. Smack dab in the middle of that burrow. My sling, my golden blue leg baboon sling, finally molted just a little while ago. And it seems like it's perfect timing. Because like I said, I did the video last night with the baby crickets hatching. And since you really can't make out too much of the molt, I'll do a little more on the tarantula later. But for now, we'll go back over here and concentrate on the crickets. Just wanted to kind of update you on how many of these boogers I ended up having so far. They're still coming out of this little egg bed right here. And they're quite active. I finally put some food and water in here for them. And I would guess that there was probably six or eight females, possibly gravid females, in my container when I put the egg bed in. See, most of them all are hanging on this one corner and off this one side. There was possibly half a dozen to ten gravid females when I put this egg bed in. I left it in for two days because they seemed to use it quite a bit. I don't know whether it was separate females or all the same females or what. But they used it quite a bit, so I pulled it out in two days. Ten days later, well, eleven days now. This is what we've got. All it takes is spritzing the egg bed a couple of times a day and keeping it pretty warm. Like I said, I kept mine in a this Sterilite container, but I keep them in essentially my bug room, which is my bathroom, which has built-in shelving. And that's where I keep all my critters, and I've got a ceramic space heater in there that I, I keep at about 75 but it usually gets to about 77. And then with this container sitting on top of a heating pad with a, a towel doubled over underneath it, we'll keep this container at 90. Now when they get a little older, I can reduce the temperature. You can see this morning I put food, water, things like that in here. And I put a piece of sponge in there. Try not to keep any uh, pools of water because they drown real easily at this size. I've already lost two just because of a little bit of pooling underneath that sponge. So I'm just trying to keep that sponge damp right now. And I've got some grain feed and some lettuce in here. So these guys ought to be doing pretty well. I'm going to give this egg bed probably a couple more days to let all of the hatchlings emerge and then I'll dump the rest of it. I'll probably freeze it first just to make sure in case there's other live animals still in there. But I mean there's there's one right over here at the edge. When they emerge and you're kind of white. Oops, I covered it up. See down in there. Sorry, down in there. There's a couple of babies right down in there. Once they come out, they'll kind of turn them a silverish or grayish color. And they'll be like the rest of these guys. So anyway, success on the cricket hatching. We've got a molt update, although I couldn't show you much. Hopefully the next update video on this particular tarantula sling will be a nice feeding and my green bottle blue is doing a lot of webbing and being lazy and webbing and being lazy which means it's going to molt here pretty soon so just keep an eye out for those videos thank you for watching this video if you did thumbs it up if you like it see you guys later god bless